update to a story you saw first on two a Missouri man's truck stolen while he was doing some work here in Houston. We told you about it last night at 10 o'clock and now this new surveillance video is showing us just what happened to that truck after it was taken. Channel 2's Janelle Blue to live for us tonight with that new development. Janelle. Well, that Missouri native found his truck stolen on Friday. Channel 2 did a story on it yesterday and within minutes someone figured out exactly what had happened to that stolen truck. When Stephen Olson found his truck missing outside his apartment Friday, he immediately called police. He played detective trying to track information from his stolen credit cards, but says he was alone. Up to two weeks before they can get a, an investigator assigned to. After several days, no luck. Channel 2 tried to help get the word out. It just so happens the right person decided to watch the news Tuesday night. I was like, hold on, that kind of... That truck looks familiar. Jason Massey had seen Olson's truck just that morning. Surveillance video shows where a smash and grab at this Exxon in West Houston. Oh, I guess it was destined for me to turn the, the news on that day. He Facebook messaged us and Channel 2 notified Olson his truck was found. Unfortunately, not in the condition he had hoped. To have it taken from me like that, it just it makes me very angry. Olson also angry. Police never even told him the truck was found. He says that may be his biggest frustration. I did make a phone call this morning um, to let them know that I have located my truck. No thanks to them. HPD says generally it takes a few days to assign a case out, but based upon the caseload, it could take up to a week, depending on likelihood of solvable clues in the case at that time. Well, as for contacting the victim, HPD says the on-scene officer will do so if they can match the VIN to that plate. They say if not, someone from records will be contacting them usually within the same day. If you have any information about this crime, you are asked to call police. Reporting live, Janelle Blita, KPRC, Channel 2 News. We're following